Welcome to our YouTube channel The Pro Readers. In the first part we have explained balance sheet through animation. This is the second part of Susan's journey of learning commerce and accounting. In this part we shall explain profit and loss account. The next day aunt went for shopping. Aunt went to study room for replying emails. Susan came from playing tennis and she wants to learn about profit and loss. Aunt told her to get ready. I am ready aunt. Oh, you are so fast. Let's start profit and loss. Components of profit and loss. Sales. Sales has two types. Cash sales and credit sales. Cash sale is sale against cash and credit sales is sales against the sum of money that shall be received by the company after some period. This period is as per arrangements between the buyer and the seller. Commission and discount on sales can be directly deducted from sales. Components of profit and loss. Cost of sales. Add opening finished goods. Add cost of goods manufactured. Less closing finished goods. Equals cost of goods sold. Closing finished goods are the remaining finished goods which are completed but not sold at the month or quarter end and are kept in the inventory. Finished goods are disclosed in balance sheet current assets. Components of cost of sales. Cost of goods manufactured. Add opening work in process. Add manufacturing cost. Less closing work in process. Equals cost of goods manufactured. Closing work in process is reported in balance sheet current assets. Components of cost of goods manufactured. Manufacturing cost. Manufacturing cost has three components. Direct material. Direct labor. And factory overhead. Components of manufacturing cost. Direct material. It is the cost of material which is directly attributed for manufacturing a product. It is calculated as follows. Add opening raw material. Add purchased during the period. Less closing raw material. Equals raw material consumed. Closing raw material is the raw material which is not used in manufacturing and reported in balance sheet. Current assets.
Components of manufacturing cost Direct labor Second component of manufacturing cost is direct labor. It is the cost of those labors whose work can be identified directly with the product manufactured. This cost is also very important in determining the cost of production. Components of manufacturing cost Factory overhead FOH Factory overhead comprised of all those costs that assist in an indirect manner in the manufacturing of the product. For example indirect material, indirect labor, electricity or power charges and depreciation etc. Lighting is done through electricity which is FOH Machines running on electricity which is FOH Components of factory overhead Indirect material it includes factory supplies and lubricants which are used with direct material but are not significant in nature. And direct labor. It includes cost of labors who are appointed for supervision and quality inspection. It also include factory clerks. Other indirect cost. It includes rent, insurance and depreciation, power, light and heat expenses repair and maintenance etc of factory work in process at any cutoff date like month end or quarter end there are some products which are in process and not fully completed like manufacturing of a product is 30 percent completed at january 31st there is cost involved in 30% work in process which includes direct labor cost, direct material cost and overheads which are directly attributed to the product. Opening WIP, for instance balance on December 31st, is included in the manufacturing cost in the month of January. Closing WIP, for instance balance on January 31st, is excluded from manufacturing cost in the month of January. Closing WIP is disclosed in balance sheet current assets. Fixed and variable overheads. Fixed overheads. Fixed overheads are those charges which shall be occurred no matter a factory produce 100 products or 1000 products or zero product. These charges are fixed in nature and do not affect by the production. For example salaries of security guards in the factory, factory depreciation, insurance and rent of factory. Fixed and variable overheads Variable overheads Variable charges are those charges which are used only for production and if a product is not produced these charges shall not be occurred. These include direct material, direct labors and those variable factory overheads which are used only for production like fuel, power, supplies, tools etc. Components of admin expenses. It includes administration and office salaries, office rent, office depreciation and amortization, audit and legal charges, printing and stationery, traveling and conveyance, vehicle running and maintenance, repair and maintenance office, meeting fees, utilities, entertainment, fees and subscription, insurance, charity and donations, advertisement etc.
components of marketing expenses. These charges are related to marketing and selling department. These include selling office salaries cost, advertisement, sample charges, selling office depreciation and amortization, selling office printing and stationery, selling staff traveling and conveyance, selling staff vehicle running and maintenance, selling staff repair and maintenance office, selling staff utilities, entertainment, fees and subscription, insurance. Other income. Other income is the component of profit and loss account. This income is not directly related to the business but it is generated during the course of the business. For example, income generated from scrap sales, gain on sale or disposal of fixed assets, duty drawback and dividend income etc. Finance cost. Finance cost is the markup charged by the banks on loans taken by the company. These loans are disclosed in long and short term liabilities. Structure of profit and loss Add sales Less cost of sales Equals gross profit Less admin cost Less marketing cost Less finance cost Equals profit before taxation Less taxation equals profit after taxation. Structure of cost of sales. Add opening finished goods. Add cost of goods manufactured. Equals cost of goods available for sale. Less closing finished goods. Structure of cost of goods manufactured. Add opening work in process. Add manufacturing cost. Equals manufacturing cost available for use. Less closing work in process. Manufacturing cost equals direct labor plus direct material plus factory overheads. Dear Susan. I hope you have understood the main components of profit and loss account. Initially, it looks difficult but if you go through these terms couple of times you will understand them completely. Yes, Aunt, few terms are difficult for me but I have noted all components explained by yourself. I will go through for next couple of days and shall ask further if needed. Sure Susan. You are always welcome. In this video we have explained components of profit and loss account. This video is useful for persons who want to know about the components of profit and loss, science students who are opting commerce, and new commerce students. For simplicity, only main components of profit and loss account are explained. All the terms defined in the video have been written by Mr. Ali Mordaza. He is a chartered accountant from Pakistan. For more videos keep watching our YouTube channel. For accounting and regulations articles visit our website theproreaders.com.